folks, welcome back. We have three different types of definitions of bobbers, what we call floats or uh, bobbers, floats, or whatever. You have your standard uh, brown bobber, um, which is very similar to this bobber as well. This one here slips over the, the line and dangles like this up in the water column so the fish underneath it will hit it and it will go jetting straight down in the water. And we have the best, I think, of all the bobber rig systems is the slip bobber rig. We're going to show you how to set that one up as well in different types of ways. Um, this can be used with bait or they can be used with jig heads. These are the most popular way to catch crappie and uh, bass and bluegill and white bass, perch, yellow perch, and multiple species of fish this will work for. Now, if you want to use them for catfishing, you have to get a bigger bobber and up the size of your tackle if you want to use it on catfish and carp. But this will work for just about every small species of fish in the lake, walleye as well, including if they're up in shallow in the water column. We're not going to be using this one. <clears throat> We're just going to show you on this bobber, because it's very similar to this one, how to set this one up, which is just your standard bobber, float, bobber, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to set that one up. We're going to get our fishing line right here and our fishing rod right here. We're going to set this one up with a jig head first. See, we've got our main line right here. As you can see, this is six pound test. I like using six pound test when I'm using these uh, lighter uh, finesse baits. What you want to do is you want to clip this standard bobber on there first. Just clip it on there so you can move it up and down the line if you have to to adjust the depth. You can't adjust the depth until you know you get everything tied on. And then what you want is a one and one ounce jig head like so. See the jig head it has to be for small fish, crappie, something like that. But what you want to do is you want to stick the jig head, the line through the jig head like so. Stick it through there like that. And what you do is you grab the tag into the line. Make sure you get enough line to do this as well. And what we're going to do is a barrel knot is what we're going to do here. We're going to take the jig head and we're going to tie a little bit of line like so. You need a lot of line to do this knot. And you wrap a loop around like so once, <clears throat> twice. And that's about all you need to do to make a barrel knot for your jig. Now what you do you pull the back end of the line and the main tag of the line like so to try to move it down as humanly possible as you can to do this and you just basically pull it tight to get a barrel knot like this. This is what a barrel knot looks like, barrel loop knot. And what this does is this strong knot, what this does is it will dangle the bait in the water like this to give it forward remote forward motion while you got your little plastic bait on there or a piece of bread which when the bobber has this underneath the bobber, it the natural of the waves will, you know, the waves in the lake or the, the river will give this uh, bait more uh, liveliness. So you barely got to even move it really to get the fish to hit it. The fish will come up and ding it anyways. You just cut off the tag line, get yourself a split shot, split shot weight, and put it about... I don't know, a couple inches above the uh, the main tag, the main line, like so. You put that right there, and then you take a pair of pliers and smush it, like so. You don't want to smush it too hard. You just want to, you know, put it on there because this bobber is going to slip up and down, like so. What this does is it helps the bobber be buoyant in the water, gives it a little bit of extra weight in the waves in the lake will bob this up and down and make this little bait dangle. So then at the very end of this float system you could adjust it to what depth you want. And when you do that there's a little clip on the bottom end that you grab your line and grab the uh, bottom end of the line like so. And that puts the bobber fully on your, uh, your rig setup. You want to run if you want to uh, run this a little bit deeper you can but this is basically the first float rig setup right here that we're going to show you how to do, which is these, the common jig head float rig. Or you can put a standard knot in this jig head and put a regular size 8 bait hook 
to catch these crappie as well if you're using minnows. But this is a devastating rig for, for crappie fishing or or uh, pan fishing. Rig set up for the slider bob rig. We don't need the need the slide bobber or itself right here. You want to put the line through the skinny end of the slide bobber, like so, for the slide bobber rig. And you put it through until you, the other side of the line comes out of the other end, like so, until you see the other side of the line come out of the other side of the bobber, like so. You uh, want to get a like a rubber bobber stop for this type of setup, but I don't have any. So you can get away with using bread ties like this, but by using bread ties, um, the the little bobber stop won't go through the eyes and cast right. So you're going to have to be very mindful when you use the um, when you use the uh, um, when you set the uh, um, stop bobber stop. Whatever you're going to do, I like to cut it in half like so with a pair of pliers, you know, just cut a small strip of this out because you don't need much for a bobber stop, but they do make bobber stops that are little round, tiny, red rubber, rubber pieces things. I recommend you to get those, but, you know, we ain't got those, so what we're going to do is we're just going to run this little piece of bread tie on here. This is basically a redneck rig, and we're going to just run this little thingy right here on there. That way, we're going to make it tight, but not too tight, on the line right there as you can see this is going to be our bobber stop for this setup and what we do here is we'll see it stops the bobber the small end of the uh, line will stop the bobber what we're going to do right here on the tag in the line is you can set this for whatever depth you want this is what's really good about this rig you're not dragging the whole bobber through the water which might scare a fish or might per spook a fish while you're trying to set the hook when he grabs a hold of the bait and what we're going to do here is we're going to find a small split shot that we used in the previous rig. And we're going to add the split shot to it. <clears throat> we're not going to, you could do this with the bobber rig as well if you want. I've done that with the jig head as well. It's a really good jigging system. What we're going to do is we're going to put a small split shot right here on this, which is, <clears throat> and we're going to crimp it down on top of it with the pliers like so. And just crimp it down just for saving time purposes. What this will do is it'll stop the bobber from going down to the hook. Press the uh, weight down if you need to. Now, if you're using minnows for crappie, what we're going to do here is we're going to use a size 8 eagle claw hook right here for panfish or trout. Um, some of them have little barbs on the back. You don't need this for that. You could put corn on this, but. I use Eagle Claw because they're really good, they're sharp, they're devastating hooks for fishing. What you want to do is you want to do a cinch knot or a polymer knot. All you got to do is just, uh, you know, we're going to do a polymer knot like this. You wrap the line, do a little circle like that. You push the line, two pieces of line through the eye of the, the hook like so, and you push it out like that as you can see um, if you have to get more line you can just pour, pull more line out of the way like that if you need to with the polymer knot it's fairly simple you just basically do a loop with the main tag line like so and like so you pull the round loop out like so Throw the top of the hook over it, like so. Line over the top, like so. And you grab the main tag line right here at the bottom. Don't try to screw it up, like so. And you basically, you want to wet the line a little bit and pull it tight. And you should get a nice positive knot with this uh, polymer knot. Basically, that's your slip bobber rig. Like I said, you can adjust the weight to whatever depth you want. And what this will do right here once you put that little split shot on it, it'll make the bobber stand straight up in the water like this because of the weight and the bait on the bottom. This this weight will make the bobber stand up. And you know if you ain't got the right depth set, the bobber will lay on its side. So you're going to have to adjust the the um, 
the bobber stop to whatever depth and then you, you go by that. So that's your depth adjustment right here on your slip bobber rig. And this is devastating because when you drop the bait like so with this rig, it falls behind it. When a fish grabs a hold of it, you'll see the bobber pull down like this in the water. Instead of pulling the whole bobber through the water and maybe spooking the fish and making them run away from the bait and never come back, what you're doing is you're actually literally pulling the line itself through the bobber to automatically get an automatic hook set up, which is a devastating bobber rig set up right here. For bait. This is a good minnow rig right here for minnows, for crappie, pan, fish, and bass. It's a great rig. Or you could put the barrel loop on the end of this right here with a jig head and use gulp alive minnows as well on the end of that if you need to. You can jig with this as well. It's a good jig. That is uh, my video on how to set up bobbers, different types of techniques. It's always worked for me. Good for catching trout, pan, fish, bass, walleye crappie whatever you whatever you're looking to target species this this uh these fl slip bobber rig and regular bobber rig setups work excellently it doesn't take rocket science how to use these but to set them up properly so you can catch fish is another story um you know just take time if your uh line gets beat up from casting it out and the fish tearing up the hook around the line just make sure you retie the line more often than not so you don't lose fish and uh, learn how to do a couple knots, uh, good knots like polymer, uh, improved cinch knot. Um, you know, there's a lot of knots. I only know polymer and cinch, improved cinch knots, my two go-tos. Um, you know, learn a bit about the knots and then retie constantly your hooks and your uh, your jig heads and you won't lose any fish, folks. I hope you like this video on how to tie up slip bobber rigs and standard bobber rigs for trout, panfish, or any type of fish in general. This has been your old pal Hondo on a few techniques. Y'all take it easy. You put God first. He puts you first every time. And you know what else, YouTube? God loves you, so does Hondo. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.